Hello and welcome back to Random Bites of a Sweet Life. Thanks for watching. I'm sharing this DIY decor challenge. It's a collaboration with Christina over at the DIY Mommy. If you'd like to see any of her videos, her link is in the description box. Um, so we're just going to start by clearing off the mantle. This is one of the major areas that I'm decorating. I'm also creating a piece for the side wall. So if you stick around, you'll see that tutorial at the end. So I'm just showing how I got the center of the mantle area and drew a dot at the top. And then I measured seven inches over to the right and I drew another dot. I made five dots on the right side and five dots on the left side. So in total I had 11. I'm just sharing a bit of the cleanup and how I filled the holes in from the previous hangings with the spackle and then prepared the wall for the next project. And because this was an open invite collaboration from the DIY Mommy, everyone who participated is in a playlist and you can find that playlist linked in the description box. I got these flower bundles from Hobby Lobby. I'm just pulling all the petals off and I'll be using them to create hanging flowers from this clear plastic like thread and I'm threading each piece um, through the little stem that's left behind and I'm creating 11 rows of flowers that will hang above the mantle. I went through and threaded each of the flowers with no particular pattern in mind. I really wanted to keep it random. I did incorporate uh, the Dollar Tree flowers so the bigger flower you see there is from the Dollar Tree. Just wanted to mix it up. My color scheme was teal and rose gold. I ended up adding some green later and I did use a copper spray paint but it was close enough. I glued a teal stud to the top of each of the 11 strings and that's what I'm using to hang them on the wall. So on each of the dots that I created I put a dot of hot glue and then I put the little stud piece right up against that. I did not mind gluing this to the wall directly it's just a little little dot. This area needs to be repainted anyway so I was fine with it. I proceeded to do that all the way across for each of the 11 dots hung with 11 flowers. And I created this plaque in a previous video. Uh, if you'd like to see how I put that together, the video is linked in the description box. Here I'm just showing how I arranged the flowers on the string. I used a very small piece of tape under each flower to hold it in place. So I removed the barrettes that were holding the excess string and preventing the flowers from sliding down and then I went around and arranged all the flowers. And this is the final result. Um, I wanted it to appear as though there was nothing holding the flowers up. Um, but then as I kept looking at it, I left it up for a few hours and I thought something was missing. So I did go back and um, update this. But in the meantime, I added this little bird. It has the teal in it and I thought this was so cute. I got it last year at the Goodwill. So to add the rose gold effect, I've got these um, candles from Target probably the end of last year and I knew I was going to use them for the springtime so I added those in and put some of the extra flowers around them. I figured the mantle needed some greenery and something to line the inside of the flowers. 
I had this fake plant for several years and I was glad I found a way to repurpose it because I peeled the stems off and I used it to line the flowers. So I thought this looked a lot better and I'm happy with it. Every time I walk into the room, I looked and I'm like, I just thought something was empty in the space and this brings it together much better in my opinion. Um, it took two little stalks of the green stems to um, line each of the flower rows. And with the remaining green stems, I created two bundles and used those in the vases on either side of the fireplace. And next I'm just sharing how I created this wall hanging. This is part of my decor on the side wall next to the mantle. So I got a piece of wood and I sprayed it with the spray paint that I used for the other plaque that's on the mantle. It's a copper spray paint. I cut the sides off because I wanted it to be more of a rectangle and I glued those to the back because I need to put nails through and the wood is very thin. I traced out a actual mason jar on a piece of paper and positioned it where I thought it needed to be. Um, once I had the jar there, I thought it needed to be a little longer so I did extend it down a bit and then I'm just using this as the stencil to add the nails. And you'll see that I'm going to add the nails going around on all the penciled part and then I'm going to add the string. I tried to make sure all the nails were at the same height. It was pretty easy to do once I got this bigger hammer out. And so I nailed them all in. The key is just to have all the nails the same on either side. So it's a mirror of itself. So when the nails are all in, they should look something like this. And once they're in, you can remove the stencil. Once I had the string attached, I literally just made up a pattern. I went around and I thought about it and it took a while. And here I am just trying to figure out how to begin. This is my first string art. So once I got started, I just kept going and just made it up as I went along. And if you're interested in doing anything like this, that's pretty much all you gotta do. And I'm just showing a close up here of how I created this. And um, everything is very random. There was no rhyme or reason to anything that I did here. I thought this was a pretty cool way to make art, so I do plan to make some more things like this. Thank you. 
I removed the stem and then slid the flower down under the strings. And then I added the stem back on and glued it in place. And here it is all done. I used hot glue to attach a piece of yarn to the back of the board and then I hung it on a nail next to the mantle. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.